Good morning. In this particular video, we are going to explore one quantitative variable from a lab or a quiz question. And uh, we're going to apply StatCrunch so that we can calculate measurements of rank or place, that is, quartiles. So firstly, I am going to go into our dashboards for our statistics class and head over to Pearson, my lab and mastering link, and open Pearson. If you're still having difficulty doing this in the course, it is because uh, occasionally you, um, your settings get changed by other applications that you may be using. So you have to remember to allow pop-ups so that this can happen, so that when you click on something that requires a window pop-up, to open, it will. Um, if not, go back to your settings, clear your cache, clear your history, and then reset allowing pop-ups. In addition, you should also allow for plugins, and you should allow for Java, which is a plugin, or Flash Player, if you have an older version of a browser. You should also allow for third-party cookies, and that's also very important. Uh, and the last thing that you may need to allow is allow for ads. Once that happens, you should see the screen that I'm looking at, which is your assignments, and you should be able to go to a question and look at a particular question that, um, in this case, we're gonna look at a question that deals with quartiles, Tukey's method, and how to describe a quantitative variable using such tools. So I'm looking at specifically your lab three, question 10, which is a question about using a box plot, which is a tool to display quartiles of a particular variable. In this case, we are looking at a company, perhaps a company like Spotify or like Pandora, which uh, oftentimes look at surveys of customers, in this case, uh, 25 customers. And one of the variables that they're trying to describe is the variable of, that measures how old the customers are, age. So age in this case is measured in years. And you'll see the data presented in data form. There's no summary of the data, although there are already statistics computed for it, like the median, quartiles, and something called the interquartile range. I'm gonna first open this in StatCrunch, which again is another pop-up. So I'm waiting for the pop-up to surface so that I can then uh, do everything that is necessary to describe this variable age. So in this case, I have moved now to StatCrunch. And as you can see, there's one column called variable one, and variable one has 25 entries and each entry is an age of a customer. So I'm gonna change the name of var1 to the word age. And age is gonna be measured in years in this context. And uh, I'm gonna start the description of age by locations in the data. According to Tukey's method, the first thing you do in order to rank or find places in the data is you need to go and take the data and sort the data. So I'm gonna to go to data, I'm gonna put the mouse on data and then click on sort. And I'm gonna click on, select the column called age. And I'm gonna do this ascendingly, which means that the youngest person will be first on the list and the oldest person last. And as an option, I'm not going to replace the column, I'm gonna create a new column next to the original column. So notice how there's a command called sort age. That's the function we applied, data sort age, and that ordered all of the people in our data set. Once we do that, our rows are now described in rankings from youngest to oldest. And according to Tukey's method, what we do when we have that is, the first thing we do in Tukey's method is we count how many observations we have, 25, and then we start naming locations in the data. 
the youngest person is called a minimum. The oldest person is called a maximum. And then the midpoint in Tukey's method is found the same way you would cut, say, a piece of celery in half. You measure the length of the vegetable in question, and then you locate the middle place. And uh, that would be this observation. So how do I know that the 13th observation is the middle place? Thus, the answer to the question of the median as a statistic that describes center, our first statistic here. Well, uh, if I have 25 pieces of data, the 13th has to be the middle because when I divide 25 into two pieces, each piece should have 12 individual pieces. 25 divided by two is approximately 12. And then there's one residual unit. And so the 13th unit has 12 numbers that are less than it and 12 numbers that are bigger than it. And so in this case, the median, the middle place is 31 year old person. And 31 years of age indicates or describes that half the people in the data are younger than 31 and half are older than 31. Thus, the median describes the middle place, the value of the middle place. In addition to that, we can now take each half of the data inclusive of this middle piece and make two more cuts, two more halfway cuts. And so when you cut something by half two times in a row, you end up getting quarters. And when you get quarters, those locations where you made the cuts are referred to as quartile locations. And when the sample size is an odd number sample, like in this case, 25, uh, you are going to include the median in both cuts, in the lower end cut, as well as in the higher end cut. So each half consists of therefore 13 items. 13 divided by two is six with a residual of one number. So after the sixth value, I'm going to click on the next number, and that's going to be called quartile one. And I'm going to do the same thing when I divide the upper half of ages into halves, except that's going to be called the third quarter position. And all in all, I now have five, I've made five cuts, the minimum, the maximum, and the median. And then the halfway point between the minimum and the median and the halfway point between the maximum and the median. And those are called Q1 and Q3. And those five numbers in all are referred to as the five number summary. And they describe the ages of customers broken up into chunks of 25%, into quarter chunks of customers. That is what the textbook refers to as Tukey's method for identifying quartiles of quarters. I went through this in a very elaborate part by part recipe to compute these numbers. In reality, you don't have to do that in StatCrunch. In StatCrunch, what you have to do is simply go to Stat, Summary Stats Columns, Stat Summary Stats Columns. When you click on Stat Summary Stats Columns and you pick the variable you want to locate, you can then select the statistics one at a time. So notice how I highlighted min. Now I'm gonna control click or command click on Q1, then on median, then on Q3, and then on the maximum. In addition to these five measures of locations, I'm also going to measure the spread in the data, the variation in the data. One measure of variation is called the range. The range goes from the minimum to the maximum, and it highlights the difference between the two. And the other one is called the interquartile range. So all in all, when I click on compute, this little box here has all descriptive statistics for the variable age. I know that half the people in the data are younger than 31, a quarter are younger than 27, the youngest is 16, the oldest is 47, one quarter of people are older than 38, that means that three quarters of people are younger than 38. The 
age of my customers from 16 to 47 spans three decades, 31 years, and the middle half of my customers' age variations from 27 to 38 span a decade, span about 11 years. So notice how I've been able to measure center, locations, and then spread by using these seven statistics. Last, if I graph, if I use the graph menu in StatCrunch and pick box plot, I can now take the age of customers and create a box plot, which essentially is a vertical device that has five markers. A box containing the middle half of the data from Q1 to Q3 and extreme values at the maximum and at the minimum that are united to the box via these little lines that are called whiskers. Hence the term of this, the more, the more common term for this graph is box whisker plot. And this concludes, and this completes a description of the variable age by locations or by rank. Thank you for watching. Now I'm gonna stop the sharing and stop the video. Thanks again.